Hey, what's up you guys? It's Hilarion Garbozo with you and today we'll have a talk on the object detection using TensorFlow Hub. Let's talk about it! But first of all, push the like button and subscribe. Help me to hack YouTube algorithm. Object detection is a computer technology related to computer vision and image processing that deals with uh, detecting instances of semantic objects of a certain class such as humans, buildings or cars, in digital images and videos. Well-researched domains of object detection include face detection and pedestrian detection. Object detection has applications in many areas of computer vision, including image retrieval and video surveillance. It is widely used in computer vision tasks such as image annotation, activity recognition, face detection, face recognition, video object segmentation. It is also used in tracking objects, for ex uh, example tracking a ball during a football match, tracking movement of a cricket bat, or tracking a person in a video. Every object class has its own special features that helps in classifying the class, for example all the circles around. Object class detection uses these special features, for example <coughs> when looking for circles, objects that are at a particular distance from a point are so. Uh, similarly, when looking for squares, objects that are uh, perpendicular at corners and have equal side lenses are needed. A similar approach is used for face identification where eyes, nose and lips can be found and features like skin color and distance between eyes can be uh, found. Methods for object detection generally fall into either machine learning based approaches or deep learning based approaches. For machine learning uh, approaches it uh, becomes necessary to first define features using one of the methods below, then using a technique such as support vec uh, vector machine uh, to do the classification. On the other hand, deep learning techniques are able to do end-to-end -end object detection without specifically defining features and are typically based on convolutional neural uh, networks CNN. Let's see uh, the implementation of object detection in Google uh, Colab using uh, TensorFlow Hub. First of all, we need to import uh, libraries and functions uh, and define functions. So uh, we would use TensorFlow, uh, TensorFlow Hub uh, for downloading uh, the image from the web uh, and uh, plotting it. We would use a matplotlib uh, temp file uh, six. Uh, to op uh, open URLs uh, for drawing onto uh, the image because uh, we want to uh, draw bounding boxes uh, we would use uh, a peel uh, library and uh, we would import from it image, image color and so on for uh, measuring the inference time we would import time uh, we can print TensorFlow uh, version and uh, uh, would do it on the GPU because uh, uh, Google Colab uh, has uh, this. Uh, we can use uh, runtime and change runtime type uh, to GPU. So we would check availability GPU devices uh, by this line. Uh, we need to define function, the help of function for downloading images and for uh, visualization. Uh, we would define display image uh, with uh, a plot. Uh, we uh, import matplotlib as plt and uh, plot, it, uh, plot the images, uh, download and resize image uh, function, uh, draw bounding box on image. So we've got uh, left top, uh, left bottom, right bottom, uh, right top um, uh, for drawing uh, the bounding boxes and if the total height of the display strings added to the top of the bounding box exceeds the top of the image, stack uh, the strings below the bounding box instead of above. Uh, so this is a uh, function for drawing bounding box. I would uh, leave uh, the URL to this uh, Google Colab and you can uh, play with it by your own. This is for drawing a uh, bounding box, so we got the coordinates, uh, so we can draw it. And this is uh, would be our uh, helping function, functions. 
and uh, we can uh, now we can load uh, an image uh, from uh, we would load the image from Wikipedia uh, we've got the image URL and we can load it with our download and resize image function uh, on the tensorflow hub we've got the uh, uh, object detection function uh, so we just uh, link it so here is the link of the uh, inception resnet version 2 we would use and uh, we would uh, use hub.load to uh, load uh, the model uh, we won't use transfer learning we just uh, use the model uh, and after that we will uh, define loading function how we would load the image and uh, define uh, run detector function so we've got our detector uh, from tensorflow hub and the path uh, to the image in google collab S simple in a few lines of code and uh, we would uh, print uh, how uh, many objects we found and uh, inference time and draw the image and bounding box uh, boxes on it so we can run the detector uh, and uh, see what it got and after running a tensorflow um, uh, hub model on my image what i've got it detects the mug, laptop, uh, clothing, person, detects me, human hair, human face. So just uh, using a TensorFlow Hub model, uh, in few lines of code, uh, you can uh, get your bounding boxes and uh, use this algorithm, use this model in uh, your project, in your startup uh, or whenever you like so that was object detection with tensorflow hub in few lines of code thank you see you tomorrow